a form of art. And history presents us with many individuals who created memorable works through the written word. Playwright William Shakespeare, novelist Jane Austen, and of course, Ernesto Fabrizi. <laughs> Who's Ernesto Fabrizi? Oh, a troubadour I met during my summer in Bologna. Ernesto wrote love poems that would make a sailor blush. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> now, uh, take out your journals and begin today's entries. As always, you are free to write about whatever inspires you, be it a beautiful spring day or... Computational molecular Bologna. nanotechnology and specifically the chemical modification of carbon nanotubes. That's what I'm writing about. I'm finishing up my spy novel. When last we left secret agent Billy O'Toole, he was strapped to a table, directly in the path of a giant laser drawing closer, closer, closer! I'm writing a poem about myself. Let's see now. What rhymes with super fantastic? Hey, Lydia. What are you writing? Working on my own gossip column. It's sort of like the National Intruder, except local. Boy, have I got plenty of juicy material. Who are you gossiping about? I can't say. It's private. Mrs. Snodgrass, may I go to the bathroom, please? Why, of course, Lydia. Like my grandmother always said, people with secrets have something to hide. Wonder who she's gossiping about. It must be someone she knows. Someone like me? She could be writing about any of us but there's only one way to find out for sure. I thought you were my friends. Real friends don't go snooping in each other's stuff. My journal writings are personal. Come on, Lydia. If you write something down, of course people are gonna want to read it. Not necessarily. Uh, 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 Lydia has a point. Uh, many forms of writing aren't meant for everyone's eyes. Diaries and cryptographs, for example. Duh, what's a craptogriff? A cryptograph is a coded message often used by spies to guard their secrecy. Some are simple to solve, others are more complex and take months to decipher. These are hieroglyphs, word pictures that stand for a variety of concepts. But, like cryptographs, their meaning is a mystery to the casual observer. You see, hieroglyphs are an example of writing in the third century BC. There but once was a time I too was bitten by the writing bug. No, oh, did you have to get a shot for that, Phantom? Amid my busy schedule of meddling, instigating, and troublemaking, don't forget the rabble-rousing, I still found time to complete my journal and self-published memoir, I Phantom. At the time of its release, it was huge. Yow! And heavy. I'd give you a signed copy, but it would be wasted on you, wouldn't it? Not true. I finished a book just last week, Phantom. Coloring books don't count. Though. No. And so, in conclusion, modern writing has come a long way. From ancient methods, like Sanskrit, for instance. Oh, hmm. Uh, which is not too dissimilar from Fred's handwriting. Well, I'll let you get back to your journals now. Remember, they're due at the end of the day. For your information, Lydia, I'm not interested. I don't even want to know what you wrote in your journal anymore. Good. Fine. Tell me. No, tell me! You're writing about us, aren't you? Who says I'm writing about you guys? I, I could be writing about anyone. My parents, my, my uncle's cat, or even about Earl. Did you hear that? She could be writing about me. Well, for your information, I'm working on a gossip column, too. Me, too. So am I. <laughs> they could 
should all be writing about me. The horrible, embarrassing things. Like the time you got locked in the girls' washroom. Or the fact that your mother made you take jazz ballet for three years. Or that funny-looking birthmark on your... Silence! I must get hold of those journals. What are you reading? A non-coloring book. The spy who didn't come in from the cold and caught a chill. Spy mission? Brilliant. I bet you're just dying to find out what we wrote in our journals. I'm curious, but I'll respect your privacy. I'm not a snoop. Lydia, we're sorry we snooped. No, you're sorry you got caught. Gross! I found a hair in my food. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Make that the second most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Hey, I found something, too. It says, you are being watched. And it's signed, 009 and a half. We're being watched? Ouch! Uh, another message. It says, all is not as it seems. All is not hey, as... Hey, Edna, what's that on your head? What this? Oh, uh, it's a uh, hairnet. Hmm. What's that funny smell? Oh, uh, that must be the soap I use to wash me hands. Wait a minute. Hairnet? Soap? You're not Edna. <gasps> that imposter's getting away with our journal. <laughs> 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 It says, take the car. Sign 009 and a half. <laughs> Who are these guys? They're driving like maniacs. Yeah, and they're not even wearing helmets. And drive safely, children. Those journals yet. My henchmen will see to that. Henchmen? Feast your eyes on the imposter, Raticus. Man of a thousand faces. Ooh, handsome fella. Even Steven. His entire wardrobe a lethal weapon. Razor sharp. And overbite. He's just big. I can't understand a word you're saying. Remove that insufferable retainer. I simply wish to assure you that we will do our utmost to secure the journals. They're getting on us, Billy. What do you suppose these buttons do? Let's find out. Billy? It's what I do. Ah! <gasps> Quick, in here! Ha! The door's locked. He can't get in. Leave 
leave them for now, Overbite. You can come back and claim the journals once they've had a chance to cool down. <laughs> hey! He broke the lock! We can't get out! We're locked in the mystery meat locker. W what are you doing, Marcus? P -p Programming my Megamind to emit a high frequency distress signal. Lydia, that's my f -f foot. B -b Buford? Call me nine and a half. <sighs> Double O, nine and a half. Uh, why are you wearing a tuxedo? Oh, I was on my way to my cousin Monty's wedding when I picked up your distress signal. Luckily, I've got the ring, so they can't start without me. A glass of your finest gravy, please. Shaken, not stirred. Boy, this takes me back to the days I used to battle the likes of Coldfinger, Dr. Maybe, and the man with the golden buns. So, any idea what they're after? Solar energy weapons? Space capsules? Nuclear submarines? Our journals! Invasion of privacy! That is low! See? That was totally different. No, it wasn't. It's clear to me. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to deliver those journals to the proper authorities. The CIA? Interpol? Your teacher. They're due today, remember? I suppose I could lend you a couple of nifty spy gadgets for your mission. Let's see now. Shoe phone? Batarang? Phony nose and mustache? Ah, here we go. One jetpack backpack. A homing radar protractor set? A magnetic pen that writes in taupe and hot pink. I'll take that. And a surveillance buster. It shuts down all surveillance equipment within a 20-foot radius. Uh, thanks, Buford, but these are just gadgets. We still need to come up with a plan. Aha! Okay, here's the plan. First, rip out today's journal assignment. Next, uh, with the help of my mini Megamind, we'll translate the assignment into... Lydia, would you mind using your electronic distorter? Well, we need a little privacy here. No! Don't worry, Phantom. I got it. I must get the journals. Who knows what they've written about me? <laughs> Better, Phantom? Not really. Finish. But what about our old entries? Yeah, we can't have them fall into the wrong hands. Hey, what are you guys up to? Thanks, Fred. No problem. I once ate an entire phone book, you know. We've got to find Mrs. Snodgrass. You're mumbling. I said, surrender the journals lest you try my patience. What is it with you guys? Always sticking your noses into other people. No pe sense in arguing with the man, Lydia. Here you go. I appreciate your willingness to cooperate and the relative ease with which... God save the if the Phantom had meant for his henchman to fly, Mr. Snarkus, he would have given him wings, Double O Tool. Hello, children. Uh, finished those assignments yet? Yes, Mrs. Snodgrass. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Uh, hello, children. Finished those assignments yet? Journals to the imposter! So where are your journals? We 
just gave them to you. But it wasn't really you. It was an imposter. This guy's to look just like you. Oh, really, Billy? A time's a-wasting. I'm looking forward to reading the latest installment of your spy novel. <laughs> Ooh, I bet Earl's got his sneaky paws all over our journals right this second. I feel so violated. Well, now you know how I felt in class today. We'd better start working on a plan to get our journals back. Yeah, by now Earl will have realized the journal entries are in cryptographs. What? Cryptographs? They wrote the entries in code! The Megamind translated our entries into a very complex code. It will take the average genius months to crack it. Average genius? Ugh. Earl may have something up his sleeve, so we better watch our backs. <gasps> Crude, yet effective. Wouldn't you say, Raticus? He's got Billy. What do we do? We can use the homing protractor set Buford gave us. All I have to do is scan in Billy's unique biosignature and... We've got a lock on him. Let's go! <laughs> do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. O'Toole. I expect you to cry. Boo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's give Mr. O'Toole a luminescent welcome. Forget it. I won't reveal a secret code. No, I don't have any tools. Go fish. Billy's about to be cut in two by that giant laser. They stole the idea right out of my journal. See what happens when private stuff gets into the wrong hands? What do we do? Your electromagnetic pen may just be strong enough to draw the laser away from them. My golly! <laughs> Raticus, you know what to do! the other henchmen. Lydia and Marcus disarmed him. Keep away! Yeah. Keep away! Yeah. Keep away! Yeah. This laser is overheating. It'll vaporize everything within a 200-foot radius. Now what? I'll hack into the laser's operating system and crash it. Oh, no! The passwords are encrypted. Huh? They're in code. But nothing my mini Megamind can't crack. Got it! Let's go! It's gonna blow! Phantom! Ah! Ah! Why is this computer glowing? about that. <clears throat> I was delighted with all of your assignments, but I'd like to make special mention of four in particular. No doubt inspired by yesterday's mention of cryptographs, Lydia, Billy, Marcus, and Ruby wrote their journals in code. I'll have to borrow that mini Megamind after class to help me decipher them, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Oh, beautiful poetry, Fred. <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, owe you an apology, Lydia. We all owe you an apology. Yeah. It was wrong of us to try and sneak a peek at your personal journal. And we're sorry. We promise to respect your privacy uh, from now on. Thanks, I appreciate it. After all, there's always a secret or two we want to keep private. Isn't that right? Uh, um... Buford. Janitor Buford. <laughs> Another one for the files of Flying Rhino.
Hey, what's burning? I believe it's us, Phantom. <laughs> oh, I thought it smelled familiar. Oh. <laughs>